Justin to the Tank is an entrepreneur whose dream is to grow his business for the good of his family. My name is JP from the Central Coast of New South Wales. We started our business because we were passionate about understanding how we could improve my son's autism. The business originated from, uh, from my dad. We actually own farmlands in southern Philippines, and for years we didn't know what to do with it after he passed away. It wasn't until my son, Rylan, was diagnosed with autism at age two, and uh, that's sort of where it originated from. And at the time, we actually didn't know anything about autism. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My lovely wife, Victoria, she then focused on how to improve his condition, and that's where we discovered eating nutritious food definitely helped with his behavioural issues. I've definitely noticed a difference in Ryland. He's a lot happier. His concentration at school is much better. We're really happy with the way he's going, and the business has really helped in that sense. It would mean so much to us to continue on what Dad started. Um, sorry, I don't know why I'm so emotional. It's, it's just it's quite nice talking about it. Um, the business is a big part of myself, Dad's story, and a big part of, of my son. The next few moments it will affect the future of the business. If we don't get a shark to go on board today, it will mean three years of hard work gone down the drain. Hi sharks, how are you going today? My name is JP Abraham from Jumali Coconut Products. I'm here to offer you 20% investment equity for $85,000. Jumali officially launched in 2014. We've been blessed to uh, be over 450 stores nationwide and have grossed just under $600,000 since that time. Wow. Jumali offers high quality coconut products that is unique to the Australian market, sourced from a region where our family coconut plantations are located in Southern Philippines. The name Jumali was created between a dedicated farmer and his land. That farmer being my dad, Jim, who helped raise the land and employ the local people from the village. It wasn't until years later, when my first son, Ryland, was born, um, who became the catalyst of what Jumali is today. Diagnosed with autism at age two, Ryland paved the way for my family to understand uh, what health food is. My wife, Victoria, dedicated herself to understanding everything about autism and found the link between autism and good nutrition, which helped support Ryland. It gave us this unique opportunity to try to bring more health benefits of coconuts to all Australian families to enjoy. That's it, guys. I hope you like my pitch. <laughs> Egg. Woo. Well done. Well done. Hey. So, JP, you're looking for 85,000 for 20% of your company. Yes. What do we have here then, mate? Is this food? Yes, it is. Oh. That roll is uh, coconut wraps. What do you do with it? And it basically is an allergen free, um, it's like bread. It's got the coconut oil inside it. So that one there is coconut nectar and turmeric, which is this product. And um, where would I use that? So basically you replace it with sugar. It's, it's actually like, just like honey, but it's, it's because it's got the turmeric in it, of course, and the nectar, which is very good for you. Anti-inflammatory. Absolutely. Oh, actually, that's nice. Wow, this is really amazing. Yeah. Like, the whole purpose of the wish and the desire and the passion that has driven you to where you are today is your son. So what's the difference between him pre all of these changes that you've made and how he is now? Because we know, for example, food that's heavily processed, once he eats that, give it either an hour or the next day, we really know. So what percentage of difference is it? Is it like a dramatic difference? There or? is. I reckon yeah. 70%. Wow, easy. OK. Yeah, yeah. What 450 stores are you in, mate? Chemists and health food stores around Australia. Where's the best home for your products? I'm trying to work out whether you're playing the pharmacy chain, the health food stores, the organic supermarkets. Where, where is the best place for you health to get Health food stores. Health food stores and organic supermarkets. Yes, that's correct, yes. I, I have to fess up now and admit that I'm a co-owner of a chain of uh, organic supermarkets. Oh, oh wow. And um, I watch this space very carefully. What are the numbers looking like? In the last 12 months, we made $285,000. Profit this year was $38,000. So you're saying you, you sold 285 and your gross margin or your gross profit is only 38,000? That's correct. Oh, no. So there's no, you're not marking it up. So let's go turnover, gross margin, and then let's go all the way to the bottom line. Yeah, no, no that's a, you know, I want to answer that. 
For the last two years, I've made 101 mistakes, right? And because of the pressure... Sorry, JP, mate. What are the, what are the numbers, mate? We, 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 we have no clarity on numbers here. Gross margin. We make roughly 20%. So on this particular product, we get it for $4.35. We would sell to our retailers $9 on this product. 50% gross margin. Yeah, sorry, I've got to work at this, guys, but yeah. This is where I'm very bad at sharks. I am horrible at figures. See that large, dark patch? You're digging a hole for yourself. But thanks for the honesty. Mate, there's no get-out-of-jail-free card yet on not knowing your numbers in business. Right, because if you do get a deal, it's going to be a terrible deal because you didn't know your numbers. No one will ever succeed in business if they leave it to someone else. Because in actual fact, when you read numbers, it's like reading a book about your business. And until you read that book, you can't grow because you're growing blind. I cannot invest without you having at least some grasp on that. I'm out. OK. I'm, out. Nice. I'm not a natural consumer of health foods goods. I reckon that honey stuff's really good. Yeah. Is it, if it's good for you, that's dis disappointing because it tastes like it shouldn't be. I wish you all the best and your family, but I'll, I'll be out at this stage. Thanks very much, Joe. Thanks very much. I love the honesty, but you've said a few things that I'm like... Yeah, and I'm putting... Because I am putting my hands up to say to you guys... You need some help. I need help. I feel you've been sort of so caught up in your mission for healthy eating around autism that you've not spent enough time on saying, well, what do I need around me? Yeah. I love the product range, and I love your passion, but I'm out. Sure. Thanks. I'm with Andrew. I don't think you're ready for investment, but what I do think is you really need a great business manager. Does good. For this investment, I'm out. So, four sharks are out, just one shark left. JP, they give you a hard time, I think. <laughs> I see an opportunity, not a problem. You have managed to, to get product on the shelf in 450 locations around Australia. That's a bloody good effort. And they're beating you up about being a bad businessman. Just didn't quite know your numbers, and I got that part. But what I do see is someone who needs a lot of coaching, a lot of support, and absolutely a lot of contacts and, and relationships so we can speed this whole thing up. And I'm going to make you an offer. Really? Absolutely. And the offer is $85,000 for 51%. Ooh. Wow. Um... JP is seeking $85,000 for 20% of his coconut product business. Oh, actually, that's nice. Glenn has made an offer, but he wants the majority share of the company. $85,000? Yeah. For 51%. 51%. Ooh. Is that right? Oh, thank you, first of all, uh, for for uh, for the offer. Can I talk to Victoria? Of course, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, absolutely. Really okay? Go for it. Yeah. Take some counsel. Cheers, eh? Thanks. Mate, you talked to me about bottom dwelling and you want to take control of his business. Do you reckon we should go, like, halfway? Do you do anything you feel comfortable with? Glenn, I'm with you. Without infrastructure and without someone like you, I'm sorry, he's not going to survive. Yeah. Hey! hey. Back. It's Harry. It's <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Sharks, this is Victoria. This is Zara. And this is little Ari. Hey, hey guys. welcome. I love your hair. It's beautiful. Um, uh, thank you so much for the offer. Uh, I just wanted to know, would you be willing to go halfway? Keep it at 85 and lock it in at 40. Just didn't want to give too much of, of our equity away. So your counter offer is 40% for 85,000.
I know how much time this is going to take, JP, and, and I don't need control. So what about we meet you halfway and go to 45%? It's your call, cool love. What's important is the value of 55% three years from now. Um. <sighs> it's one of those moments in life, JP. It is, definitely. Um. Sure, it's a deal. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Good really excited. Well, I'd be sorry. Excuse me. Good, good oh, thanks, Lani. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Mate, it's all about the value in two or three years. He'll help you make it a much bigger business. See you. See you, guys. See you. Don't ever forget this name. Jamali will be the biggest name in coconuts in Australia. I love it. Good stuff. I think people need the same things in business as you do in life, frankly. You've got to be optimistic, positive. You've got to have energy. You've got to be healthy and focused. And then just go for it. <laughs>